Hi everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I am reviewing the new Vita Set and Perfect Powder from Fit Glow Beauty and I think this might be my most concise review to date. It is just a powder so I wanted to of course demonstrate me using this as a touch-up powder which is my preferred method and just sort of share with you the beneficial ingredients in here, how I like to use it and all of that good stuff. So if you saw my what's new video, you know a little bit about it. It looks a little something like this. Um, it comes in this really cool cylindrical packaging. This, this packaging is really designed for it to be the best for on the go. You can use it as an initial setting powder as well, but a way that it is concur encouraged to use, designed to use, and also my preferred method is absolutely as a touch-up powder. So I'm gonna be demonstrating that here for you in a bit, but packaging-wise, it looks like this. Um, just that cylindrical packaging like I told you about. You do get a little bit of a window into the shade here, so the sticker name is gonna be on the bottom and you can see the shade a little bit as well. When you open it up, um, I love this feature. The brush is completely, not completely, but almost 100% of the way covered by this plastic um, little cover that moves both up and down. And while we're here, I'm gonna show you how to um, get this product going as well. So you wanna initially tip this product down when you first get it. You are gonna take this plastic covering, just kind of pump it up and down two to three times, and then you're gonna give us a little tap, gonna give it a little shake, and I like to just kind of start pressing it against the back of my hand and you will notice the powder starts to fall out and then it's kind of activated and ready to go. When you're when you're applying it to the skin, you don't at all want to hold it this way because a lot of powder will start to come out. I like to kind of just work the bristles a little bit on the back of my hand, make sure that it's coming out in a really nice even way that's not at all over applying the product um, because it's just wasteful, honestly, and it's just no need. And then I will sort of go from there. So once you get the product going, you are good to go. I thought this might work on a refill system, but I didn't see any refills on the website because you could separate the brush from that little bottom powder part here as well. Would not encourage doing that. It does go absolutely everywhere because it's like a loose powder living in here, but just something to be mindful of. So, um, so packaging is really incredible. I love that this, uh, the plastic part covers the bristles because it stops them from getting all splayed out from the cap and this is really, really easy to just throw in the purse and go. I think it's designed beautifully. All right, anyways, packaged beautifully. We love that. Um, and it does come in four different shades, so I think that's incredible. One of the shades is translucent, um, and what I really, really, really love about the translucent translucent color here, it, it's not that very classic, super stark white. And usually when it's that stark white, sometimes, even though it's meant to be a universally flattering powder, it can show up on a more dark complexion in a flashbacky sort of way. But I do like that they're offering different colors should you want a slight tinge of coverage. I wouldn't say that this provides um, quite a lot um, because it is designed, like I said, as a touch-up powder, even though you could absolutely use it as a setting powder as well. So I have the translucent shade. That's the shade I'm going to be demonstrating here today. They do also have the deep shade. They do say the deep shade can be used as a bronzer. And the tone of it is really great. It's a very red um, tone to it, very, very golden. So if that's something that you're worried about and you have a deeper complexion, that might work a little bit better for you so it doesn't at all look very bright on the skin. Um, however, it's not a terribly deep shade, but like I said, it's not really meant to add a ton of additional coverage. So for me, this delivery system, I would not use this as a bronzer. I think it just kind of lends itself to looking very patchy on the skin, over applying it. I might try to like do this, you know, and like, apply it to my skin, but I'm gonna save this more as like a setting powder option, but I will play around with it. So we do have the translucent shade. They do also offer a light, medium, and deep. Um, so those are all options for you as well. And of course the light is for fair to light complexions. The medium is for more medium tan complexions. And the deep is for your more deep to very, very rich complexions as well. Or they have the translucent option, which I love and will be demonstrating here for you shortly. So what is so extra special about this and Fit Glow's just ethos with their line is that there is of course hyper skin care ingredients inside of here. I believe that this product offers up to like 50 antioxidants on the skin, environmental protection as well. And for me, if it performs like great makeup and it has that as a benefit, I mean, 
I love it. I think it is awesome. That's $49. It's really, really great. It's a vegan formulation as well. Um, I am wearing it on my skin today as a touch-up powder, and I was getting a little sweaty, you'll see, um, from wearing my mask and running a few errands and things like that. But if you need a touch-up powder, I think this one is fantastic. I think it saves you the hassle of having to put a brush in there and a regular powder or a really dirty sponge. I think we're all kind of guilty of that because I kept a dirty brush in my bag for like the longest time so I could touch up and it's really just not great for the overall well-being of your skin. So in general, I think this formulation is fantastic. I really love how it looks on the skin, but I'm gonna quit saying it. I'm going to very quickly show you and then I will give my final thoughts and opinions on these products okay, for you. So I'm up a little close because I'm going to, of course, apply this product for you all. So I have been wearing a face mask. I ran a couple errands so you could see Getting a little shorty there. It's like a little too shiny here in the center of my face. And as I've already discussed, I really like this product as more of a touch-up item rather than initially setting my makeup with it. That you can absolutely use both. Um, I just don't like to use a ton of powder. So I like to do a really light dusting of powder usually underneath the eyes. And I would prefer to touch up. And I find that in these times, I need to touch up a little bit more than normal because like I said, the face mask and stuff like that. So I've already run down how to get this activated. Once it is activated, you are good to go. I can kind of like run my finger through the bristles so you could see the powders going. So I'm just going to unlock it. And they say to kind of do it in like circular ones. Again, I don't want to like over apply. I'm just going to kind of go in these areas right here. Center of my face as well. I'm just super easy. That's of course what's super nice about it. And it's not providing any color, no tinge. But look how nicely and really, really subtle, and I'm very particular about this, that it kind of helped just mattify the area. It didn't make it, it didn't suck it out and make it look dry. It's not clinging, it's not looking cakey. I'm gonna get really, really up close for you guys so you could see I just sort of wanted to show you me applying this product. Could maybe use a little dusting more here on my forehead. Yeah, I mean, that is the perfect type of touch up powder for me because you can apply this more than once and you don't have to worry about it building up and looking bad on the skin. So I'm going to zoom you all in so you could get a better look at how exactly this touch up powder is working on my skin. Hello, very up close. I just wanted to show you how nice it sits on the skin. I have a more normal to dry skin. Here it is on my chin. I also applied it there. Applied it all here. Applied it on my forehead. Really, really happy with how this looks on the skin as well as removes that excess shine. All right, everyone, that's it. I think this is the only actual quick video I may have ever made. So um, if you want me to do some videos, maybe comparing this to some other setting powders, what's really unique and nice about this one is, of course, the really high delivery of antioxidants that you're getting out of this product, as well as the environmental protection. Not only that, um, it is designed to be more of a touch-up powder. So what I like about that is that it layers really nicely. Of course, the packaging is really, really genius. Ficlo really thinks about things like that, which I love. And um, I'm pleased with it. I really, really like the translucent option. I think it is fantastic. Um, as far as the more colorful shades, the tone on the deep one looks nice. Um, for a bronzer like they said you could, but I don't like that delivery system for a powder bronzer. I just think it would lend itself to being a little bit patchy, so I will play with that and maybe bring my thoughts to you. But as far as the touch-up powder is concerned, this stuff is great. Um, the translucent isn't at all leaving any sort of whiteness on my skin, which sometimes it can if it comes out a little overly concentrated. Um, so I think this would be good for a majority of skin tones. Of course, if you have a very, very deep complexion, I would probably go with one of the more tinted options just to play it safe and get the same results. But anyway, um, I will link that product down below, of course, so you all could check it out. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please do not hesitate to ask. I am here to help. I'm wearing a new Fit Glow lip gloss release as well. Um, I swatched these on IGTV. I'll leave that down below so you can check it out. But please let me know what you'd like to see a review next. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I do upload here twice weekly and I do not want you guys to miss it. Um, and that's it. Thank you all for all the love and support and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.